excited to be part of the Perry 10 um, Perry 10k community um, just have been driving here so I am so 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 excited uh, <laughs> to be here to be coming to you live talking to you about the steps that I'm taking to become a full time uh, entrepreneur so um, yeah so for those of you guys who don't know me my name is Deborah Acker I um, am a transformational coach who works with women putting their partners their careers ahead of their own needs right and we teach what we need to learn and so it was a while ago now hi Kelly how are you hello hello so we teach what we need to learn so it was a while ago now that I started becoming um, basically choosing to become this entrepreneur right and become the person that I wanted to become hello hello welcome welcome I'm coming on in I'm so glad to have you HK Terry one thank you so much for joining so glad to be here hello 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 so today we're gonna to be talking about um, the steps that I took to becoming a full-time hi sage cryptic how are you um, no worries no worries hello hello hi Lisa how are you good to have you thanks so much for being here so right now as you can see I am sitting in my car <laughs> and uh, um, yes, definitely please share. Thank you so much for sharing. Definitely give hearts if you really enjoy this content. We have a lot of, lot of awesome stuff uh, to share here today. And I think it's so, so, so appropriate that right now, I think it's kind of ironic and, um, and funny that I am coming from my car right now because I am in the process of transing, tra uh, in transi transitioning over to becoming a full-time uh, entrepreneur right and actually when I saw this title I wanted to bring something to someone's attention right I do a lot of work with consciousness and a lot of work with us noticing how we talk about ourselves hi Wendy thank you so much for joining I'm so excited to have you here I'm so excited to be here um, and so I do a lot of work with consciousness and one of the things that I want to bring to your attention because we were calling this um, I um, I became how I became a full-time entrepreneur right and what I like to say when I'm describing hello hello so glad to have you hi Daniel thanks so much for joining um, thank you so much for sharing I so appreciate it and thank you for all of the hearts definitely definitely appreciate that so um, one of the things that I was noticing in this title is that we were talking about it being a full-time entrepreneur, right? And when I'm describing moving into entrepreneurship, the way that I always talk about it um, is I talk about it as becoming a full-on entrepreneur, right? So, because full-time, like my goal is, and I'm all about, and I teach, and the one, the work that I do with um, my clients too, I teach. Hello, Fabian. Thank you so much for being here. So excited to have you here. The work that I teach a lot of my clients is how we have these beliefs, right? We tend to have these beliefs around we need to work hard to make money, right? And the work that I do with a lot of my clients is how can you work smart, right? So for about like the last year and a half, two years, I have, um, and I know our first speaker, um, I think it was Fabian, was talking about, you know, working multiple jobs, right? And um, I'm going to be actually writing a blog post uh, coming up soon about why we shouldn't quit our jobs to go after our dreams right because there are so many times there are so many times when we um, get told by coaches or other people oh you should just quit your job and just go all out go all in right and I am all about the fa the idea the fact that it takes a lot of the pressure off to get that income coming in if you've got another source of income and so really, really paying attention, really, really important to recognize that we don't have to quit our our corporate jobs to move into the life of our dreams, right? That we can do, um, that we can do both, that we can have both. Exactly. Like multiple streams of income coming in because you know what? It takes a lot of the pressure off, right? Because can you imagine the energy when, you know, if you're talking to someone and you need them to work with you, right? You need that money from them, right? What sort of energy are you going to bring in to that call? 
like into that conversation. And it's not going to be because you, if you feel like what, what it feels like when you're wanting money, when you need money, it doesn't feel real good in your body. Um, and so really, really noticing, really, really paying attention to, okay, like how does that feel in my body when I need money from somebody? And they can feel that whether you ever say, whether you put any pressure or you say no pressure, they can feel when you're like relying on them to, to quote unquote save you or to rescue you. And so really, really paying attention to that. So that's just something I want to bring to the forefront. But really, we don't have to work hard to make a lot of money, right? We can work smart to make a lot of money. And you know, a thing that's been on my mind as I make this transition is just noticing what I'm prioritizing, right? And so, so many times we tend to like, like I, I, I've just been become very, very. Um, I uh, I have so few certificates. Trying to become a health coach, it's um, it's not working. Um, I've waited five years to do my business full time. Right, exactly, exactly. And it sometimes it takes a lot of time. And also just noticing your languaging. So like, um, if you keep saying like it's not working, like we are very powerful creators, right? So. The, the what we choose to put out there, the universe wants us to have whatever we want, right? So if we're putting that out there, the universe will literally like say, okay, that's what you want. So really starting to, I always recommend transitioning your languaging, right? So if something's not working for you right now, notice what is working and start to change and start to shift and say, it's beginning to change, right? It, this is beginning to change. I'm beginning to notice X, Y, and Z. I'm beginning to notice a shift here. I'm beginning to notice a change here. Um, and just really, really um, begin to notice that, right? Really start to become conscious of your words, conscious of what um, what you're putting, you know, put what you're putting out there. So interesting, people want my services for free, right? And have you been willing to, I um, I yes, I yes, what's your first name? Tell me your first name. I, my question to you is, have you been willing to invest in yourself, right? Um, that's one thing. Um, uh, yes, Seth, thank you. So, um, can you tell me, Yasef, have you been willing to invest in yourself? Cause it's really, really important to notice. Um, awesome Heather. Thank you so much. It's really, really important to notice if we don't invest in ourselves, that's going to get reflected in in by the people who come to us, right? The, if we don't see our own value and we don't believe we're valuable enough to invest in, how can we expect others to invest in us, right? I mean, that's, it's, it's, I hate to say it. It's like a, it's just a common law of attraction, right? The other thing too is, is, um, really, really noticing. I work with a lot of people who have these inner block. All of us have inner blocks, right? And we try to change things on the outside world. But once you shift what's on the inside, that's how you create the, the shift in the outer world, right? So for Yasef, that might mean more getting clients, right? So, but you got to clear, you know, there might be a belief system um, in your field around you not being worth it right? I'm guessing that's what it feels like as I'm just kind of tapping in and tuning in. So, and a lot of us have that, right? I can definitely, um, definitely relate to that. Um, what was the turning point that made me actually start? So for me, I had to get to that point where I was done, where I was over it, right? Like I had to get to that. I had to get to, um, to that breaking point where like, I was like, I've had enough and I deserve more, right? I deserve to be happy. I deserve to have a life that I want to live. You know, we spend so much time at work and the idea for me of spending the next 30, 40, 50 years of my life at work and not loving what it is that I'm doing, I mean, oh my gosh, that it would have, it just would have been disaster. So just like I... I was called, right? Like part of what I feel, I am called to change the world. I know that that is a big piece of my path. And so I had to do it, right? I knew like one of the really awesome things to think about and it keeps me centered around my goal, around me becoming an entrepreneur is at, at the end of my time here, at the end of my time here, will I have any regrets? And I knew for me that if I stayed in my corporate job, I would have had a big regret, right? Like I would have just had 
just an absolute huge big regret. It would just, I, I like my heart would have sunk. It would have just been devastating for me. And so really, really, um, okay, three minutes. Perfect. Thank you. So really, really, um, hi, um, hi, Sylvia, Sylvia, Sylvania. I, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Thank you so much for being here. Um, and so for me, that centering point and every single day, you guys, every single day when I get up, I had to choose it, right? I had to go after it and I had to choose it every single day, right? Through the fact that maybe I had to work on a weekend, through the fact that maybe like, uh, you know, my, my corporate job was requiring things for me and I was like, oh my God, you know, that was feeling depleting. And then I would have to go home and thankfully my client, you know, working as a coach, I feel so energized. Right. And that's another sign too. Like, you know, if you guys are looking and thinking about moving to a corporate, moving out of your corporate job, moving out of your job, looking at, how, do you feel energized in your corporate job? And, and if not looking at what energizes you, right? Like really, really looking at, um, what energizes you and really, really keeping focus on that because it is so, so, so important. It is so important to that we like your, your, your job shouldn't deplete you, right? You shouldn't, you should feel like the other day I woke up at three 30 in the morning. That is not a typical practice for me. I'd like, I just woke up. So, you know, I started working really, really early and I ended up, I think I were, I ended up having like a 19 hour day but it was all my coaching stuff. Thank you so much. Um, I will close this out, but it was all my coaching stuff. And what I would say to that is like, I, at the end of the day, I felt completely energized. Now, if I had done that and had to do that for my corporate job, I would have felt completely depleted, right? So just really, really noticing that. Um, people need my services, but I think I'm too nice. I just don't know how to ask for money. Um, yeah. And really, really, so noticing like, what, like, what are you scared of when you think about asking for money? A good question. Anytime you're scared of something, guys, a good question that we can all ask ourselves is what, what am I scared of here? Like, are you scared of rejection? Are you scared of like being an imposition? Like just noticing what comes up for you guys when, you know, when you go to ask for money and as we're stepping into this and owning it, what comes up you know, what fears come up as you think about even stepping into this, as you think about choosing it. For me, I will say there was a point in my corporate job where I actually knew that I'd be more uncomfortable staying than going. And that was a huge shift for me because there was a point where I got very comfortable in my corporate job. And I was like, I could just stay here for the rest of my life and just allow, like, allow this to ride out. Perfect. Perfect. So I'm going to wrap this up, but I could, you know, I could just stay here for the rest of my life and allow this to write out. But instead I really, really was like, I'm uncomfortable now and I don't want to be uncomfortable for the next 50 years of my life. So you guys, if I can leave you with one thing, just absolutely choose it, right? Absolutely go for it. You are worth it. You deserve it. You deserve to have a life that you do not want to take a vacation from. You deserve to have a life that you absolutely love, that you are excited about every day. So if you enjoyed the scope, please definitely follow me. Please share with your followers and definitely make sure, um, I don't know what Heather's, um, I'm so sorry, I don't know what Heather's HK uh, uh, Terry won. So go ahead and um, head over to HK Terry won and um, uh, uh, thank you so much for watching. I so, so, so appreciate it. And I look forward, until next time, I look forward